that being said, we'll jump right into chapter 6. Hosea chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, my first reader, please. Come and let us return unto Elohim. Yeah. For he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will, he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us, and the third day he will raise us up. And he shall live in his sight. Okay. We yeah. see the saints are encouraging people to return to Elohim. You know, uh, in, in verse 15, it spoke of a national repentance. And just for to recall your memory, uh, Put Hosea 5.15 up here. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Okay? Uh, so, Yah is speaking about the house of Israel. And he's saying, you know, after he you know, cursed them and took them away, he said, he will go and return to his place. But he won't stay there forever. He says, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. You know, now within them acknowledging their offense, we see repentance. We see the act of repentance, you know, and, and they, they become sorrowful for going against the word of Elohim, going against Elohim himself. And they come to understand that they've offended him and they seek his face. You know, they're sorrowful. They repent. And Yah says, in their affliction, they will seek him early. This word is, affliction is czar, number 68-62, and it means a narrow uh, or tight place of trouble. A, a narrow or tight place, trouble or tribulation. So we can gather from this that this national repentance is accompanied by tribulation during, um, during this time. Now we see in Hosea 6-2, he says, after two days, he revived us. And in the third day, he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. You know, now, I was meditating on this. And Yah was showing me that during day one, this is where Yahushua and his ecclesia were actually persecuted and or killed. And so it will be with the national repentance of day two. Moshe prophesied that affliction or tribulation would be in the last days. And we've seen an, an affliction or tribulation during the time of Messiah when he came and, and after uh, he was resurrected and how they persecuted not only him but all the apostles, you know, and uh, Christianity as a whole, if, if you would, for a number of years, you know, some... People estimate up to 250 years, you know, um, this persecution continued. Now, here in Deuteronomy chapter 4, Moshe actually prophesied of this happening in the latter days. I'm going to next read, read Deuteronomy 4, verses 25 through 31. When thou shalt beget children and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a graven image, or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of Yahuwah thy Elohim, to provoke him to anger, I shall call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that you shall soon perish, utterly perish, from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither Yahuwah shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek Yahuwah thy Elohim, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to Yahuwah thy Elohim, and shall be obedient unto his voice, for Yahuwah thy Elohim is a merciful Elohim, he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. Okay, so we, we can gather here that Hosea's testimony, uh, Hosea's, uh, the testimony that he's given, the prophecies that he's, that he's actually sharing with Israel, 
you know, had had been shared before. Yes. You know, we see Yah truly does tell the end from the beginning. You know, before they even went into the land, Moshe prophesied this. And truly, as we see during the time of Hosea, their children had begot children and children's children, and they had remained long in the land. And sure enough, they had corrupted themselves and they had made graven images uh, and the likeness of um, other things. And they did evil in the sight of Yahuwah and they did provoke him to anger. Yes. And Yahuwah, being the faithful El that he is, simply kept his word. <laughs> you know, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen? Amen. He said he was going to do it and he done it. Yes. You know, Verse 27 teaches us what he was going to do. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither Yahuwah shall lead you. It happened. Yes. Now, Hosea prophesies the same thing. Even as we see in verse 29, it says, But if from thence thou shalt seek Yahuwah thy Elohim, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thine heart and with all thy soul. See, this is the, saying the same thing that we just read in Hosea 5.15, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yes. And he goes on and says, when thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days. So, he's speaking about a particular time here. Even in the latter days. You know, and truly, this transpired, this um. Uh, this tribulation transpired in the latter days. We see the Messiah, after he came, they began to persecute not only him, but everyone who was with him. You know, but at the same time, you know, he said, If thou turn to Yahuwah thy Elohim and shalt be obedient to his voice, that Yahuwah thy Elohim is a merciful Elohim, and he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. So he promises he will bring us back. And that's even true for us now today, even as it was for them back then. For as, as we just noted, Yah is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, so if he was faithful to them back then, he will still be faithful to us today. You know, if we would only... Turn to Yahuwah, you know, and if we seek him with all our heart and with all our souls, he will also deliver us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Say L. He's no respect of a person. Next reader, Hosea 6, 2, and 3, please. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on, to know Elohim, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as latter and former rain unto the earth. Okay, so again, after two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Now, just uh, remind you that 2 Peter 3.8 teaches us that a day is as a thousand years unto Yah. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with Yahuwah as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Now, if we take this rule into account, then Yahushua came to the earth. When he came to the earth, that would have been the first day. And a thousand years later would definitely put us into the second year, if not a third year, depending on what time of day he came the first time. I mean, everybody with me? Yeah. You know, if, if he came in the middle of the day, then a thousand years would put us in the middle of the third day. Everybody still with me? Okay. Uh, there was a persecution, a tribulation during the time when he came, and we know prophecy speaks of a persecution of the saints again before he returns. Yeah. Amen? Amen? 
But six, Hosea 6, 3 teaches us that then shall we know if we follow on to know Elohim. He is, is going forth, is prepared as the morning. And he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain. Now, Revelation 11 Verses 10 and 11 reads, And they that dwell on the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. Talking about the, uh, the two prophets of Elohim, the two witnesses that come and, and they, they're going to kill them uh, in Jerusalem and their body's going to lay there for, for three and a half days. And it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Elohim entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them that saw them. Okay, now, I want you to think about this in relation to after two days, he will revive us. And in the third day, he will raise us up. See, because he's, all, he's, a, he's reviving us now. That's why you see this movement of people coming out of Christianity into, you know, uh, and embracing the Hebrew roots or the Messianic uh, uh, movement, if you would. And you see even the Yahudim coming into the Messianic movement or accepting Messiah. You see an awakening that's been taking place over the past uh, several years that we haven't had seen in a long time, actually since the Messiah came. The way that people are accepting the Messiah now today, if you think about it. You know, there's definitely something happening that's different. For people are coming out, people are embracing the Hebrew roots, they're keeping the Shabbat, they're trying to learn the truth of the, uh, of the word. You know, they have a hunger and thirst for the Most High, they're actually seeking them with their whole heart. And Yah is beginning to pour his knowledge out upon his people. Yeah. <laughs> this happened before. When there was a national repentance during the time of Messiah. Mm -hmm. There was a national rep repentance. Then there came a national affliction or tribulation. And it's going to be, it's going to culminate to that again. Mm -hmm. You know, Scripture teaches us that. He tells us to end from the beginning. We don't have to wait for tomorrow's newspaper. All we have to do is read our word. Amen? Amen. Amen. It forecasts it perfectly. Now, we see on the third day it says he will raise us up. And we see in Revelation 11, 11, on the third day he raised his two witnesses up. When those two witnesses raise up, the dead and Messiah are going to raise up with them. We've seen, seen a picture of this when the Messiah was raised up. And we've seen the dead that was raised up with them. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yah does not leave his people in the dark. Right. And it speaks of that time when this has happened, that darkness will be upon the face of the earth. That the sun will be darkened and the moon shall cease to give forth his light. But the apostles teach us that we're not children of darkness. We're children of light. Hallelujah. And it won't, that day won't overcome us as a thief in the night. Right. Why? Because we'll be 